I've had an absolutely insane amount of fun with this little picture on glider and I used what I thought was a, a pretty small receiver at the time. This is a Matexis little five channel receiver and as you can see that uh, fits quite neatly into there. However my interest was piqued the other day when I was going through one of the Facebook groups dedicated to the ELRS project and somebody happened to casually mention that it's actually possible to remap one of these little serial only receivers, this being the Happy Model EP2, add a header to it and you can reconfigure it to output PWM to control servos obviously directly. Now with the pads available we can only get three channels but three channels is all that I need for the two servos for the picture on movement and of course the speed controller. Let's see how this works. Taking a closer look at the EP2 then the pad here is the negative then we have the plus five volts and receive and transmit. Can't remember which way around they are but not important right now. Clearly this is where we should be soldering our header. Looking at the other side of the board here where the negative pad is that's also negative connected there and this is the boot function so to get the device into a boot mode you would short those two together. However we can see that this trace goes up and around and goes to in fact pin 15 which is one of the GPIO pins and this is what we're going to configure to be our third channel output. The receive and transmit will be channels 1 and 2 and this will be channel 3. I've prepared a header with the negative and plus 5 volt rails all ganged together there and these clearly will be our servo signals. I'll get on and complete the soldering now. I've finished the soldering. I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out. The interesting bit is on the other side. You can see here the solder joint going to the third channel there, the second channel coming down to the end pin there. Clearly the first channel is soldered on the top there. Now soldering at this level is challenging. If the only soldering irons that you have look like these, that your grandpa used to solder tin plate together for his valve radios, then this isn't the project for you. You can see here the soldering iron tip that I used and I'll leave a link down in the description to the iron that I made as well. That is pretty much perfect to do this kind of work. Now I guess it's time to see if it actually works. The next stage will be to program it with the PWM code and then we can test it. Here in the web interface we can see that it's the EP2 and running 3.3.2. Over in the configurator I'm going to choose the same version. I know there are newer ones available but I'm sticking with this one for the moment. The category, now before it was under DIY devices but that's no longer the case. What I found is that the Happy Model PWM PRX 5 channel EPW5 will work for us. We're going over Wi-Fi. My domain is Europe. We're not using any binding phrase. I shall choose a manual selection and we're going for 192.168.1.214. Off we go. Writing to the device now. Success it says. Back here let's refresh the web page. And now we can see it's running EPW5. And if we look under the Models tab, here are our five outputs. We need to change our inputs. So we'll have channel 1, channel 2, 3. The other two I'm not concerned about. And the failsafe should be in the middle of the range for the two servo channels and 900 in there. Let's save those parameters. 
Just before we see if it works, we'll flip over to the hardware tab. Now this is where the receive and transmit would have been mapped before. And if we scroll on down, we can see now under PWM are 0, 1, 3, 9 and 10, which is all as it should be. Time to test. I've gone ahead and bound the receiver to my little pocket radio here. Now is the moment of truth. And we have our picture on aileron movement, if you will, and our picture on elevator, all working there. Active. Activate the throttle. <laughs> and that's all working as well. There was a little bit of confusion on my part as to which channels were which. The motor on channel three is actually connected to the receive pin as was, which is on the middle there. So either side of the two servo outputs, the GPIO zero that we linked from the boot pad onto there and the original transmit pin. And that is all there is to it. Comparing that to the five channel receiver now, <laughs> It's uh, quite ridiculous how small it is. It would be prudent, I guess, to cover the wires with some hot melt glue or something similar. I shall go ahead and do that. But um, in essence, if you need a tiny, tiny receiver with only three channels, then this is the way to go. Thanks for watching.